Hi guys, this is ND and today I'm going to show you how to add a color overlay or gradient overlay with CSS. So I'm going to show you a example website. So this is, as you can see this is the image section. So let's find this section with the CSS ruler background image. So this is the section with the background image. So this is the section where we add the shadow class element. So let's create a so let's select this one and then add a double colon then after. So let's add content. Since we're going to use absolute positioning, we're going to set a position relative. To the parent and then we're going to use CSS flex on the shader element. Our color overlay should be on top. So we add the background Red, just for example purposes, a height of 100% and position absolute top 0. So, as you can see, it covers all the section, so that just means we are on top of the layer to change the color. Just click on the, the value. The value color picker and you can change the color but as you can see we have a problem the the button our sugar class element overlaps the the content of the section so we have to add z and x negative 2 and then for our pseudo element have to add a negative one so that our button will appear and not under our shadow element so it's still working it's full width so how about if we are going to use gradient overlay We have to add a background with linear gradient. So we can add like blue diagonal. So that's 45 degrees. So that's diagonal. Take the diagonal position gradient. Make a blue and face it to transparent gradient. So if you want to change the gradient, just make it make it in figures so that it positions at the top and then I'm gonna change the gradient on the bottom. The opacity is like zero and I just it to a different color so that it blends with the top. So that's it, that's how you add a color overlay or gradient overlay with CSS. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you like it, have a good one.